In today's video, we are going to look at head-to-toe outfits using the new fall pieces from Walmart. Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Teresa, and this channel is all about affordable fashion. So if that sounds good to you, you've come to the right place. I want to start with this baby blanket soft cardigan. As always, I will have everything linked in the description box below for you. For this first look, I started with a turtleneck. This one is a bestseller on the Walmart website. It sells for $14.98. It comes in sizes extra small through 3XL and is available in four colors. I'm showing what they're calling winter white in a size small. The fabric is 78% rayon and 22% polyester. The care instructions say to machine wash cold and tumble dry. This relaxed fit top has dropped shoulders, a fold over turtleneck, which I will circle back to in just a moment, and a soft rib knit contrast banded cuffs and hemline. Worth mentioning, I am one of those people who cannot tolerate anything tight or restricting on my neck, and I have to say that this is remarkably comfortable. This one has a ton of stretch and feels almost like a mock neck on, so win-win because it covers my neck wrinkles without choking me. Then I added this super soft cardigan by Time & True. This one sells for $18.98. It comes in sizes extra small through 3XL and is available in six patterns and colors. I'm showing what they're calling the oatmeal winter white combo in an extra small. I will go back to that. The fabric is 94% polyester and 6% acrylic. Honestly, I would not have guessed to touch this that it had any acrylic in it. The care instructions say to machine wash cold inside out and tumble dry. This open front duster length cardigan has a relaxed fit with two generous front patch pockets. I was easily able to fit my full size phone in them and a rib knit trim at the cuffs and hemline. This cardigan has a lot of volume to it, so I decided to size down to an extra small, and I'm glad that I did because it fit perfectly. I paired it with my favorite Time & True straight leg jeans that I've shared in a number of videos, and these faux suede boots, these were an Amazon find. I talk about these in depth in a previous video. If you haven't watched that video yet, I will link it in the cards above for you. And then I added this tan quilted bag by Time & True. I have this in both the tan and the black, and they really pull together any outfit. Then I wanted to style this cardigan with, get out your smelling salts, skinny jeans. And here's why, when it comes to fall looks like this, I choose to ignore the fashion police who are screaming from the rooftops that skinny jeans are out. Because in my humble opinion, there are certain looks that just really work with skinny jeans. And a long voluminous cardigan is a prime example of that. So I slipped on my favorite dark wash skinny jeans by Time & True. Then I added the Sam & Libby faux suede tall boot from a previous video. And I really like this look as well. So to the fashion police, the only thing I have to say is, sorry not sorry. I still plan on wearing skinny jeans occasionally in the fall. For the next head to toe look, I kept on the same turtleneck and straight leg jeans and added this field jacket by Time & True. This one sells for $27.98 and comes in sizes extra small through 3XL, and it is available in two colors. I'm showing what they're calling orange brick in a size small. It also comes in the green sea turtle that's kind of an olive shade. The fabric is 97% cotton and 3% spandex, which gives it just the perfect amount of stretch. The care instructions say to machine wash cold, tumble dry, and use a low iron if needed. This relaxed fit jacket has a point collar and has both snaps and a zip closure, and then two patch chest pockets and two front flap pockets that also have snap closures. There's a working drawstring at the waist so that you can cinch this one in or not, and it has button closures at the cuffs. To complete this look, I added the jacquard bag by Time & True from a previous video, and I really like how the cognac trim on this bag kind of matches back to this jacket. For the next head-to-toe look, we're going to start with this plaid dress by Time & True, and I have to admit that there's something a little bit off about this dress, so we're going to talk about it. This one sells for $22.98. It comes in sizes extra small through 3XL, and it is available in two colorways. I'm showing what they're calling rich red plaid in a size small. It also comes in a pretty navy plaid. The fabric is 100% cotton, so yay for breathable fabric. The care instructions say to machine wash cold, tumble dry, and use a low iron. It has a V-neckline. The buttons on the front are just decorative, and honestly, I'm glad that they are because that way the plaque 
bracket is sewn down fully and there is no possibility of gaping, which is often an issue with dresses like this. There's a working drawstring at the waist so that you can cinch it in as much or as little as you like. The puff sleeves are finished with elastic at the wrist and there's a ruffled flounce at the hemline. Just for your reference, I am five foot four and on me, I feel like this dress is a little bit too short. I wish that it had two or three more inches to it. Now, part of that is because I am 60 years old and maybe if I were younger, I would feel differently, but I would like this one to be just a little bit longer. I paired this dress with the Pioneer Woman Western boots from a previous video. These are currently on clearance on the Walmart website and most of the sizes remarkably are still available. These are so good. And I topped this look off with my trusty time and true denim jacket and a top handbag. This one was an Amazon find from a while back. I will link this bag in the description box below for you. And I completed the look with these time and true earrings. These are just $3.88 and they have this pretty gold tone mirror-like finish. What I find odd about this dress, and it might just be me, is the color, the pattern, and the long sleeves all speak fall to me, so I'm fine with that. But the fabric is a lightweight seersucker, so it doesn't seem to be seasonally appropriate, if that makes sense. Why would a dress that is otherwise made for fall be so lightweight and be made of seersucker? Do you think this is odd? Let me know in the comments down below. For the next look with this dress, I switched out the Pioneer Woman Western boots for the Sam and Libby Tall Faux Suede boot. A lot of you have asked me in the comment section if I thought that these particular boots would work for a wide calf. And I believe they would because they're quite loose on my calves as you can see in the footage and they have a good amount of stretch. These are actually too big on my calves and might be better suited for a wide calf. Although this is most apparent when I'm wearing a dress with these on bare legs, when I wear these same boots over skinny jeans, some of that gap is filled. But with the stretch, there is still plenty of room at the top of these boots, so just keep that in mind. I completed this look with the Pioneer Woman faux tooled leather bag. This is a crossbody, and even though it is small, it holds a surprise amount. I just love the intricate detail on the front of this one. For this next head to toe look, we're going to start with this mixed knit sweater by Time and True. This one sells for $17.98 and comes in sizes extra small through 3XL. It is available in seven wearable colors. I'm showing what they're calling gold tee in a size small. The fabric is 94% acrylic. I would not have guessed that to touch this one and 6% polyester. The care instructions say machine wash cold inside out and tumble dry. This sweater has a relaxed fit with a crew neckline. Walmart comes out with this particular sweater every season, and I'm happy to see this one in some new colors. I still have a couple of these from last fall, and I really enjoy them. I found that I wore them a ton. I paired this with the same straight leg jeans from earlier and the cream slouch boots by Time and True for this first look. Then I layered it with the corduroy vest from a previous video also by Tom and True because this vest matches everything. And then because I'm all about mixing and matching and to get the most out of each piece in my closet, I slipped on the field jacket from earlier. And to my eye, because both of these pieces read on the warm side, I thought they paired nicely. I really like the weight of this particular sweater because it's not too heavy or too bulky, making it perfect for layering. For the next head to toe look, I have another time and true sweater to share with you. Full disclosure, I do not like the way this fabric feels on my skin and I cannot wait to get this sweater off of me, but we're going to talk about it. We might as well since I have it on. This one sells for $16.98. It comes in sizes extra small through 3XL. It's available in two colorways. I'm showing what they're calling dark navy combo in a size small. It also comes in a really pretty winter white combo. The fabric is 50% barbed wire, 30% Brillo pads, and 20% thumbtacks. Okay, I'm just kidding, but it feels that way. It's actually made of 55% recycled polyester, 29% regular polyester, 13% acrylic, and I am astonished that that percentage is not much higher. It makes me wonder if it's mislabeled, honestly. And then it has 3% spandex. The care instructions say to machine wash cold inside out on gentle and tumble dry. This sweater has a relaxed fit with drop 
shoulders, a ribbed mock neck, and a textured chevron pattern with contrasting rib knit trim at the cuff and the hemline. The hemline does have side walking slits. I do want to point out that this sweater has a pretty loose weave, and I could actually see my skin through it in some places, so just be aware of that fact because you might need to wear a cami under this one. Now for me, whether to wear a cami under this one or not is a completely moot point because I am not keeping this one. If you've ever touched raw insulation accidentally that goes in walls, that is what this feels like on my skin. It is that creepy, crawly, itchy feeling, and this one is going back the second I get done this video. For the next head to toe look, I have another Time and True sweater to share with you, and this one I actually like. This one sells for $19.98. It comes in sizes extra small through 3XL and is available in four colors. I'm showing what they're calling cinnamon spice in a size small. I love this color. The fabric is 60% cotton and 40% acrylic, but unlike the previous sweater, I don't feel the acrylic in this one at all. It's really bizarre. The care instructions say to machine wash cold on gentle and tumble dry. This sweater has a relaxed fit with a crew neckline and this textured knit all over with a rolled knit trim on the cuffs and the hemline. Like the previous sweater, this one does have a bit of a loose weave, but for some reason I don't find that I can see my skin through this one, so I don't feel that I need to wear a cami under it necessarily. I styled this one with the straight leg jeans, the time and true slouch boots, this time in the cognac, and that same jacquard bag from earlier. I also tried it with the corduroy ivory vest, and then I tried it with the orange field jacket from earlier. I found it to be quite versatile for layering. This sweater is so much more comfortable than the previous one. This one does have a high-low hem, and I do want to point out that depending on your height, you might be able to wear this with leggings. For me, at 5'4", I definitely got enough derriere coverage. Be sure and let me know in the comments down below which pieces were your favorite and which ones didn't you care for. You ladies never steer me wrong, and I value your opinion. Total random side note, I feel a rant coming on right in the middle of this video, and I'm going to talk about skinny jeans again because I can't get past this one point. Whenever I see fashion stylists say, well, you can wear skinny jeans, but you want to wear them in the new modern way with ballet flats and so forth. Here's my issue with that, and let me know, am I the only one that sees this? Ballet flats leave your ankles exposed. I live in the Northeast. The whole point of skinny jeans, to me, is to wear them with tall boots to have coverage from head to toe and be warm. Let me know in the comments down below. Am I crazy or is this actually a thing? Do you want your ankles to be bare when it's cold out? Let me know in the comments. A few moments later. I am still fixated on this topic. Whenever I hear the fashion police say, if you have to wear skinny jeans, whatever you do, do not wear skinny jeans with tall boots. That is so dated. It's kind of like saying, whatever you do, do not wear slippers with a bathrobe because that is so dated. You need to wear your bathrobe with, oh, I don't know, roller skates. For the next head to toe outfit, we're going to start with this mid For the next head to toe outfit, we're going to start with this mixed knit sweat. Oh my god. For the <laughs> I don't know how I do this day in and day out. If you want to see even more affordable fashion and outfit inspiration, you're going to want to watch this video next. Thanks so much for spending a little bit of your day with me and I will see you next time.